Hello, welcome back everyone to hssportslive.net. It's an interception by Villa Grove. It looks like number 31, Jake Reefsteck with the interception. I apologize for our technical difficulties. The power went out in the Villa Grove press box. We did not have a scoreboard and we did not have power to our equipment. So we were unable to broadcast for a little bit. When you left us, there was an injured player down from Westville. It was their quarterback, Kyle Brazis, actually got hurt on the defensive side of the ball. And, of course, they wanted to be extra careful and ensure that everything was okay. It appears he might have had an apparent back injury, so it took a while for the medical personnel to get him stabilized and for the ambulance to get here. But once they got him off the field, Villa Grove was able to put another touchdown on the board to make it 40-15. to 15. And now that interception there for, from Jake Reefsteck by Villa Grove the quarterback that was in for Westville was Austin Milholland, uh, number 18. He was in there because for the injured Kyle Brazis. So, again, I apologize for the technical difficulties, but when you do a live broadcast, these things happen. A power outage here in Villa Grove. But we're back now. Four minutes left to go in the third quarter. Villa Grove has now got this game well in control, 40-15. to 15. Again, Westville started this game off very well, leading 15-6 to 6 at one point. 15 to 12 after the first quarter, but since then it's been all Villa Grove. And now a second down and three for them at the 16 yard line. Fake on the give and they're looking for Hubbard on the outside and he's gonna make a move and can he get in the end zone again? No, he's gonna be stopped there short of the end zone. That's been a great connection tonight for the Blue Devils. Henderson on the run out and the pitch to Hubbard. He's made a great, he's done a great job of making the pitch just at the perfect moment. And Hubbard's speed on the outside has really been a problem for the Westville Tigers. Again, our score 40 to 15, three and a half minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Villa Grove Heritage getting ready to try to punch in another score. First and goal from the seven yard line. Quarterback John Henderson now waiting for the call to come in from the sideline. He's in the shotgun in the backfield as Max Daly. In motion now is Tarion. Daly's trying to get in, but it looks like they're going to stop him just short. Now they give him a touchdown. Max Daly with a touchdown. And does he deserve that touchdown? Because he has been running the hard yards today for Villa Grove. He's been the guy they've been sending up the middle of the defense to soften that up for the guys to get to the outside. So Daly with a touchdown run, and he deserves that. He's had a lot of tough runs tonight. That gets our score 40, makes our score 46 to 15. Three minutes, 24 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. I would like to thank Robert Woods. Rob Woods, he's our cameraman upstairs today, and I appreciate him coming here to Villa Grove and helping me out tonight. Let's see the extra point. The kick is up, and it is blocked by Westville. That's pretty much been the only problem for Villa Grove tonight is kicking extra points. They've had several fakes that worked. They've missed several extra points. There to kick that one was Kyle McColgan, a 5'7", 224-pound sophomore. But that one was blocked by Westville. And now the score is 46 to 15. Three minutes, 24 seconds to go. We're going to take a quick break here on hssportslive.net. Welcome to HS Sports Live, a new website designed to bring you coverage of high school sports in central Illinois. At hssportslive.net, we will be streaming one area high school football game live each week, and we will also be producing video profiles on area teams and athletes. Our coverage area will consist of eight conferences, the Big 12, the Corn Belt, the East Central Illinois, the Heart of Illinois, the Little Okaw Valley, the Okaw Valley, the Sangamon Valley, and the Vermilion Valley. This week, we are in Villa Grove for the Villa Grove Heritage Westville game. We will be all over the area in the next three months, continuing next week with the Urbana Central game, followed by Clinton versus Tuscola and Monroe Forsyth versus Unity on September 20th. We would also like to congratulate the Monticello Girls Cross Country Team and Fisher. We're back for kickoff here in Villa Grove, and it looks like number 11 for Westville is going to get it. That is Jeff Thompson, but he's brought down right away by the Villa Grove defense. Well done on, by the special teams of Villa Grove. Three minutes, 20 seconds left here in the third quarter, 46 to 15. Our score, Villa Grove has this game well in hand. 
You got to wonder what's in Westville's heads right now. It's got to be hard to play the game after they see their quarterback carted off the field and taken to the hospital. We hope that Kyle Brazos is okay. Uh, again, he was taken off the field on a backboard. We can't speculate on his injury, but we hope that he's okay, and the medical personnel did a wonderful job. So back here to the action now. Westville has first and 10 ball at the 30-yard line. They give it on the run for about seven yards to the left far side of the field. In at quarterback again is number 18 for Westville, which is Austin Milholland. Tanner Cox, the wide receiver for Westville, was the ball carrier on that play. He picked up about seven yards. That brings up second down and three now. Moving the ball to the 37-yard line, Terry on Price with the tackle. Milholland will bring Westville up to the line. He's under center, Milholland. Six foot, 160 pound junior. Gives the ball to Hillegas and he's stacked up right at the line. Great job by the Villa Grove defense. And they have, sh they have shut, that's actually Tanner Cox again on the carry, but they have shut the Westville offense down since that first quarter. Zach Broker was the guy first in there to stop him for no gain. Westville bringing it to the line now. Third and short, third down and two. We'll see if Westville can convert this play. Two minutes left to go here in the third quarter, trailing 46 to 15. Milholland gets the snap and gives it. It looks like they may be loose. The ball is still popping around. Milholland tried to give it to Austin Johnson and looked like there was a bobble. I'm not sure who came up with it. They're going to call it down. I think Milholland might have came up with it, and then they called him down. I'm not sure. But it came out when he was trying to hand it off to Austin Johnson, the 5'7", 150-pound senior running back. 46 to 15, our score, under a minute and a half here in the third quarter. Senior night here in Villa Grove for Villa Grove Heritage, a new co-op. 12 players from Heritage, the rest here from Villa Grove. Villa Grove likes to have their senior night on the first game of the year just to kind of kick it off with a big celebration. Back to punt now is Westville. A good punt with good hang time. It's going to hit down about the 25. It's now inside the 20, and it's going to stop right on the 15-yard line. A very good punt by the Westville punter. And that will put Villa Grove at their own 15-yard line, leading 46-15 to with one minute left to play here in the third quarter. Again, you're watching hssportslive.net. I hope you're enjoying our broadcast. I apologize for our technical difficulties. We will be doing a game every week here on hssportslive.net. Next week we will be in Champaign as Champaign Central will be taking on the Urbana Tigers. I'll try to give you some scores here um, that I've got. Tuscola was on top of Sullivan 16-14. to um, Salt Fork was defeating Arcola 23 to nothing. St. Joe was all over and defeated Marshall 47 to nothing. Uh, Normal is beating Urbana 24 to six. Again, we'll see Urbana next week. Argena Oriana defeated Clinton 56 to 19. Charleston was on top of Rantoul 23 to 14. Pontiac defeated Chicago Clemente 22 to nothing. Mattoon defeated Troy Triad 22 to 21. Last I saw, Muhammad Seymour was on top of Mount Zion 20 to eight. Normal West was on top of Central 48-7 to at the half. Monticello was on top of Central A&M 36 to nothing, And Centennial was leading their game 20-7 to over Decatur Eisenhower. If we get any more updates on their scores, we'll try to give them to you. Back here in Villa Grove, first and 10 from their own 15-yard line. A minute left here in the third quarter. The give is to Daly right up the middle, and he plows forward. For about eight yards, it was first and 15 after the penalty on Villa Grove. Dalton Hillegas on the tackle there for Westville. He's not been getting the carries here recently, but he is in on defense. Time winding down here in the third quarter, 46 to 15. Our score, Villa Grove Heritage has this game well in hand. Quarterback in the shotgun, fakes up the middle and then pitches it to the outside. He's got some speed on the outside, and he's going to be brought down after about a 15-yard carry. Nice job by Zach Broker. 
Broker's the one who made that good tackle on Westville just a few minutes ago. Jeff Thompson from Westville on the tackle there. And the clock will wind out here in the third quarter. Villa Grove Heritage, 46, Westville, 15. We'll be right back after this short break on hssportslive.net. It's Josh Wallach for being the first HS Sports Live Teams and Athletes of the Week. Videos will be posted each week on different teams and athletes throughout the area. HS Sports Live is in its inception, and we hope you like what you see so far. If you would like to be a sponsor for a game, team, or athlete of the week, please contact us at hssportslive at yahoo.com. Welcome to HS Sports Live, a new website designed to bring you coverage of high school sports in central Illinois. At hssportslive.net, we will be streaming one area high school football game live each week, and we will also be producing video profiles on area teams and athletes. Our coverage area will consist of eight conferences, the Big 12, the Corn Belt, the East Central Illinois, the Heart of Illinois, the Little Okaw Valley, the Okaw Valley, the Sangamon Valley, and the Vermilion Valley. This week, we are in Villa Grove for the Villa Grove Heritage Westville game. We will be all over the area in the next three months, continuing next week with the Urbana Central game, followed by Clinton versus Tuscola and Monroe Forsyth versus Unity on September 20th. We would also like to congratulate the Monticello Girls Cross Country Team and Fisher's Josh Wallach for being the first HS Sports Live Teams and Athletes of the Week. Videos will be posted each week on different teams and athletes throughout the area. HS Sports Live is in its inception, and we hope you like what you see so far. If you would like to be a sponsor for a game, team, or athlete of the week, please contact us at hssportslive at yahoo.com. Welcome back to Villa Grove. I am Chris Foster with hssportslive.net. Again, if you would like to sponsor a game, team, or athlete of the week, please contact us at hssportslive at yahoo.com. We'd love to talk to you, show you our website, and talk to you about being a sponsor on hssportslive.net. Here in Villa Grove, we've started the fourth quarter. 46 to 15 is the score. Villa Grove Heritage over Westville. Second down and seven now, ball on the 39-yard line. Try to give you some scores here throughout the end of this fourth quarter. The game has gone longer than a lot of high school games. They had a little bit of a celebration at the beginning for the seniors as it was senior night, and we had an injury and a power outage, so a lot has gone on here. We're approaching 10 o'clock here in Villa Grove. Most games are over around 9.30 at the latest. But here we go now, and a new running back in for Villa Grove. Kenny Guerrero on the carry. He's a 5'7 sophomore as Villa Grove now will try to get some of its backups in here and get them some experience here on opening night of the Illinois high school football season. Always an exciting time, a hot night here in Villa Grove. 46 to 15, the Blue Devils on top of the Tigers. 10 minutes and 50 seconds to go here in the ball game. Some finals here. The Muhammad Seymour Bulldogs defeated Mount Zion 41 to 14. Unity defeated Warrensburg 48 to 13. Now here back on the field, a run to the outside. That's number 20, Nathan Bradley. He's a sophomore as well. That'll make it fourth down and six now, and Villa Grove will line up to punt here back to Westville here in the fourth quarter. See if we can find some other scores here. Again, I told you Pontiac defeated Chicago Clemente 22 to nothing. Monticello defeated Central A&M 36 to nothing. Chargers win their first game of the season 28 to 7 over Decatur Eisenhower. Champaign Centennial Chargers, that is. Iroquois West defeated Eureka 19 to nothing to open up the season. Back here on the field now, looks like they're going to actually go for it. And Westville is ready. Zach Broker tried to come around on the little reverse run to the outside, and he didn't have the speed to get past that Westville defense. So Westville makes the stop, and the ball will turn over to the other side now for the Tigers. 46 to 15, 947 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Tigers will take over at the 37-yard line.
9.47 to go here in Villa Grove. 46 to 15 our score. It's been a very entertaining game for the first three quarters. A lot of offense, especially for Villa Grove. Again, if you were with us earlier, it was 15 to 6 Westville in the first quarter. 15 to 12 at one point as well. And then Villa Grove just took over the football game. Westville has been unable to do anything since that first quarter. Dalton Hillegas had 70 yards rushing and a touchdown run of about 40 yards in that first quarter. But after that, the Villa Grove defense stood up and pretty much has stopped anything that Westville has wanted to do. Their biggest play on offense since then is, was a tipped catch of about 40 yards, and that was caught by wide receiver number 89 there, Gavin Leap. It was tipped by Jeff Thompson, and then Leap made the catch. And that set Westville up to possibly score a touchdown before the half to get back in the game, but they're unable to punch it in, and Villa Grove has just taken over here even more in the third quarter. Right up the middle and nothing there for Westville. Again, at quarterback for Westville for the injured Kyle Brazis is Austin Milholland, number 18. Right up the middle, number 72, Spencer Eversole on the tackle for the Blue Devils on that play. No room up the middle there. Coming in at running back for Westville is Ledavion Le Severado, number 32. Quarterback's running to the sideline to try to get the play. From Guy Goodlove, a tough game here for Westville. They started off very well, but Westville's defense, what, Villa Grove's defense stepped up and has changed this ball game, and Westville's going to have some work to do, and we'll hope that Kyle Bradsis is okay. Another fumble there by Westville. It's still loose down by the sideline. We'll see if they got it, and they did before it went out of bounds. The Blue Devils come up with the football, and yet another fumble and turnover for the Westville Tigers. 46 to 15, still our score, eight minutes to go in the ball game, and Westville is probably just ready for these eight minutes to run off, and they're ready to get on the bus and go home. It's been a tough night after a good start, but the turnovers and the injury to Kyle Brazos has to be tough for them to swallow right now. Villa Grove will start on the 31-yard line, first down and 10, 46 to 15. Our score here, hssportslive.net. I am Chris Foster. Welcoming you to the website. I'm glad you could join us tonight. Next week, we will be in Champaign for Champaign Central versus Urbana. The next week after that, our third week will be Tuscola taking on the Clinton Maroons. And then week four will be Maroa Forsyth versus Tolono Unity. Eight minutes to go here in Villa Grove. Quarterback in the shotgun. Looks like quarterback is now number 13. And he's dropped the ball, and it's going to be recovered by Westville. That's Gavin Gunter, sophomore quarterback, unable to handle the ball there, and Westville will fall on it. And the ball will go back to the Tigers, and they will bring the offense back out on the field. Again, just to give you a little bit of a recap of what's happened here in the second half, 46-15 uh, to 15 is our score. There was an injury to quarterback from Westville, Kyle Brazis, and as he was down, it took quite a while for the medical personnel to get him stabilized and for the ambulance to get here. But while he was down, we had a power outage in the press box, losing the scoreboard and losing some of our video equipment here. We we're able to get that back online for you now. So we're here broadcasting, trying to wrap up this game. Eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter, 46 to 15 our score. And Westville now with the ball after the fumble. Milholland at the line, and he's going to give the ball up the middle. Run to the outside. Nice carry of about eight yards. Hillegas back in the game now at running back. He's been out for a few series there, but they've decided to put him back in. Picks up nine yards. Under eight minutes now here in Villa Grove. It's going to be a victorious senior night here at Villa Grove. Villa Grove Heritage, a new co-op. Twelve players from Heritage, 40 from Villa Grove. Taking on Westville here, and they're going to start the season 1-0. Westville will be 0-1 when our clock hits zero tonight. Seven and a half to go, second down and one for the Tigers. Whoa. Quick handoff, and he is stuffed right at the line. Nothing there, no room at all. Well, tackle, a good hit by number the hit Tanner by Bergner. number 53, Tanner Bergner. And there is nowhere to go, and Westville has not had much room up the middle at all tonight. 
as that defensive line from the Blue Devils has done a wonderful job. Hilligas, not Hilligas, I apologize. Milholland has the play. Third down and one now for the Tigers. They were unable to pick it up on second down. We'll see if they can pick up the yard here on third down. Under center is Milholland. He's got the snap and the give. The run up the middle, I believe that's Hilligas. And he's going to have the first down and more. Picking up probably about seven yards on that carry. And it'll be first and goal for them on the six-yard line. So Westville trying to get on the scoreboard here late in the fourth quarter, trailing 46-15 to to Villa Grove Heritage. First and goal from the five for the Tigers. Quarterback Austin Milholland in for the Kyle Brazos in for the injured Kyle Brazos. He's under center. There's a snap. Bobbles the ball, but is able to give it to Hilligas, but nowhere for him to go. Westville having a lot of problems tonight getting the snap from center. They've had a lot of fumbles and a lot of problems with keeping their hands on the ball tonight. Now under six minutes here at Villa Grove. Second down and five. Second down and goal to go from the five for the Tigers. Under center now is Milholland. He's ready to take the snap. He takes it, loses the ball again, and then falls on it. Just continuous problems by Westville holding on to the ball. Guy Goodlove is going to have a lot to work in practice this week. He's going to definitely be doing a lot of ball handling drills, I'm sure, as they cannot seem to hang on to the ball tonight. And that's really what opened the door for Villa Grove there after Westville had a nice start. But it was a fumble by Hilligas on a kick return after Villa Grove had scored to make it 15-12. to 12, And that pretty much opened the door for Villa Grove to take the lead in this game. And since then, the floodgates have opened. And Villa Grove has really dominated. 46-15 to 15 our score under five minutes to go. Third and goal from the eight now. Milholland fakes the handoff. He's going to throw it to the outside. And it looks like it's going to be caught by Hilligas, I believe. Did he get in? He did get in. That was not Hilligas. I apologize. It's number 11, Jeff Thompson on the catch. Thompson had a big play earlier tonight. A 44-yard reception. That set up Westville's second touchdown. But a nice play there by Westville as Milholland was able to find Jeff Thompson open for the touchdown, and he was able to make a move and score. Our score now 46 to 21, 4 minutes, 43 seconds left to go here in this ballgame. And Westville is now on to try the extra point. Remember to visit hssportslive.net. You can watch this game, the replay of this game. Uh, we'll have it posted next week. As we start the week on Monday, the game should be up and posted, and you can watch this whole broadcast again on demand on hssportslive.net. So while we do it live, we also put them on demand. Now for the two-point conversion. He's going to look outside. Milholland finds a man, and it's dropped on the outside. It looked like that was Jeff Thompson again on the outside, and... He was open, but he was unable to hold on to it. So our score will remain 46 to 21. We got four minutes and 43 seconds left to go here in this ballgame. We're going to take another break here on hssportslive.net. Welcome to HS Sports Live, a new website designed to bring you coverage of high school sports in central Illinois. At hssportslive.net, we will be streaming one area high school football game live each week. And we will also be producing video profiles on area teams and athletes. Our coverage area will consist of eight conferences. The Big 12, the Corn Belt, the East Central Illinois, the Heart of Illinois, the Little Okaw Valley, the Okaw Valley, the Sangamon Valley, and the Vermilion Valley. This week we are in Villa Grove for the Villa Grove Heritage Westville game. We will be all over the area in the next three months, continuing next week with the Urbana Central game followed by Clinton versus Tuscola and Monroe Forsyth versus Unity on September 20th. We would also like to congratulate the Monticello Girls Cross Country Team and Fisher's Josh Wallach for being the first HS Sports Live Teams and Athletes of the Week. Videos will be posted each week on different teams and athletes throughout the area. HS Sports Live is in its inception, and we hope you like what you see so far. 
If you would like to be a sponsor for a game, team, or athlete of the week, please contact us at hssportslive at yahoo.com. We are back here in Villa Grove. It's the high school hssportslive.net game of the week. Villa Grove Heritage has is 46, Westville Tigers 21, as we have about 4 minutes and 43 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. I am Chris Foster. Thank you for joining us on hssportslive.net. Again, we will be here every Friday night bringing you a live stream of a area football game. Next week will be Champaign Central versus Urbana. In the last 4.43 here, I will also try to continue to give you some scores. Uh, one new score coming in, St. Thomas More, Champaign St. Thomas More has defeated Stanford Olympia 25 to 14. Staunton defeated Pena 28 to 13. A couple of new scores there. Charleston ran tool game as final. Charleston 36 ran tool 22. Villa Grove now here to receive the kickoff. It's like it's trying to run to the outside. Runs out of room and he's gonna be knocked out of bounds. It's like number 71 from Westville, Trevante Phelps. 43 on the return. Knocks him out of bounds. Parker Vollmer on the return. About the 40-yard line is where it'll end up. So good field position here for Villa Grove. 46 to 21 our score. Four minutes and 34 seconds left to go here in our ball game. Argenta Oriana defeated Clinton 56 to 19. I think we gave you that score earlier. Milford Co-op defeated Oakland 33 to 6. Deer Creek Mackinac lost to Leroy 32 to 22. And Muhammad defeated Mount Zion 41 to 14. Unity won 48 to 13 over Warrensburg Latham. Villa Grove now ready to start their possession here. First down and 10 ball on the 33 yard line. Four and a half minutes to go. Quarterback has a snap. He's going to throw it to the outside, and it's caught. He's going to turn the corner and run to the opposite side of the field, but he ends up getting hit right in the middle there. That caught ball was caught by Nathan Bradley. He was going to try to run all the way across the field and end up taking a hit that he'll probably feel tomorrow. The hit put on him by Billy Eldridge. 46 to 21 our score. Four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. We are in Villa Grove, hssportslive.net, our first game of the week, our first ever broadcast. Villa Grove now at the line, awaiting the snap is the quarterback and the give up the middle. And at quarterback now for Villa Grove is Gavin Gunter. No room up the middle on that run for the Blue Devils. And we'll have third down and six now. For Villa Grove. Try to give you an idea of some players in the game now for Villa Grove. Like as I said, Gavin Gunter is in at quarterback. Uh, Parker Vollmer is in at halfback. He's split out wide right now. Gunter now ready to receive the snap. He's going to throw it, and it's going to be nearly picked off. And in the process of trying to get it, Parker Vollmer takes a little bit of a hit. Three minutes left to go here in this ball game, 46 to 21. Villa Grove well in control of this game. We do have a flag on the play. See what that is. Fourth down and six would be the down, but we'll see what the flag is first. A legal procedure on the Blue Devils. That'll push them back. But it'll be declined and it'll be fourth down and six with three minutes, a little over three minutes left to go here in our ball game. Villa Grove again in control, 46 to 21 over Westville. They'll be punting from their own 38 yard line. Westville has no one back to receive, so it seems they'll be bringing the house here. Oh, they're going for it, I apologize folks. Gavin Gunter rolls to the outside, he takes a hit, gets the pass up and it's caught. There's a flag down. It was caught by number 20, Nathan Bradley. So, Coach Chad Musselman electing to go for it on that play. Give some of his reserves a chance to run some plays and learn some offensive plays in some real life scenario action. 46 to 21, our score, three minutes to go. Fourth down and 10 now. Another penalty on the Blue Devils. 
So now fourth and ten, we'll see if they go for it again or if we punt this time. It appears that they're going to go for it. Quarterback Gavin Gunter is in the shotgun awaiting the snap. He's got the ball. He's rolling out to the outside. He's going to look for the outside, and it's incomplete. He was looking for either Parker Vollmer or Anthony McConaughey. McConaughey was knocked down. He was looking for a flag, but the referee said no on the flag, and it's 46-21 to 21 now, and Westville will take over on downs, first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Two and a half minutes left to go in this ballgame. Looking here at a couple scores, Tremont defeated Hayworth 28 to nothing. PBL defeated El Paso Gridley 21 to 6. Those are just a couple more scores coming in here. Trying to keep you up to date on all the scores here on hssportslive.net. Again, I am Chris Foster and I thank you for joining us here tonight in Villa Grove where Villa Grove Heritage is on top of the Westville Tigers 46 to 21. A slow start for Villa Grove as Westville came out to a 15-6 lead, but since then it's been all Villa Grove. Their defense stood up and stopped Dalton Hillegas, and their offense really took control of this ballgame. 2.34 to go in the ballgame. First and 10 for the Westville Tigers. Again, they're playing with their backup quarterback. Backup quarterback Austin Milholland, who's in for the injured Kyle Brazis. Milholland now under center. Takes a snap, and he gives it right up the middle. And he's got a nice gap up the middle, and he could go to the end zone, but he's finally going to be wrestled down. That tackle is made by number 20, Nathan Bradley. Devion Severado on the carry. Nice run up the gut by the Tigers, trying to put another score on the board here late in the fourth quarter. Despite the score here, it's definitely good for Westville. They're getting some experience for some different players that we were not seeing early on in the game. Uh, you never want a guy to play, be playing because of injury, but at least they're getting some experience for Austin Milholland. And Severado with a nice run, they're getting some experience as well. Another give up the get to Severado, up the gut that is, and he's going to plow himself all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Westville Tigers. Our score now 46-27. to just under two minutes left to go now in the fourth quarter of this ball game. So Westville with a couple of scores in a row here to try to make the score a little bit closer. Villa Grove is definitely in control and they've put in some of their reserves to get them some experience. Westville has taken advantage here and they now trail 46 to 27 with a minute 56 left to go in the ball game. The Davion Severado with a couple of nice carries there. We'll see who they go to now. Austin Milholland on under center to try to get for the two-point conversion. And there's the run up the middle. That's Logan Knoll. Is good. I believe that's number 33, Logan Knoll with a run up the middle. And it's 46-29 to 29 now here in Villa Grove. Under two minutes to go. We're going to take another break here on hssportslive.net. Welcome to HS Sports Live a new website designed to bring you coverage of high school sports in Central Illinois. At hssportslive.net, we will be streaming one area high school football game live each week, and we will also be producing video profiles on area teams and athletes. Our coverage area will consist of eight conferences, the Big 12, the Corn Belt, the East Central Illinois, the Heart of Illinois, the Little Okaw Valley, the Okaw Valley, the Sangamon Valley, and the Vermilion Valley. This week, we are in Villa Grove for the Villa Grove Heritage Westville game. We will be all over the area in the next three months, continuing next week with the Urbana Central game, followed by Clinton versus Tuscola and Monroe Forsyth versus Unity on September 20th. We would also like to congratulate the Monticello Girls Cross Country team and Fisher's Josh Wallach for being the first HS Sports Live Teams and Athletes of the Week. Videos will be posted each week on different teams and athletes throughout the area. HS Sports Live is in its inception, and we hope you like what you see so far. If you would like to be a sponsor for a game, team, or athlete of the week, 
please contact us at hssportslive at yahoo.com. We are back here at Villa Grove. Again, this is Chris Foster for hssportslive.net. Thank you for joining us here tonight. We are inside two minutes, 46 to 29 is our score. Villa Grove Heritage has the game well in hand. Westville getting ready to kick off after scoring a touchdown. They haven't put the ball up on the tee yet. 46 to 29 again our score. Awaiting the kickoff is Villa Grove. A long game, a long game tonight. We have some wind actually coming in because a storm may be brewing, and that's why the ball keeps falling off the tee here. We have under two minutes to go. Trying to get this thing in before the storm blows in here in Villa Grove. Here's the kickoff for Westville. It's kicked up, and waiting to catch it is for Villa Grove. He can't get it, and he just picks it up at the last minute, and he gets hit by a bunch of Westville Tiger defenders. That was number 11 for Villa Grove, Miles Boatwright, 5'1", 106-pound junior. One minute, 50 seconds now to go, 46 to 29, our score, Villa Grove on top of Westville. First and 10 from the 31 for Villa Grove. Again, you're watching this on hssportslive.net, our first ever live stream broadcast. Hope you're enjoying it. We'll be doing a game every Friday night here on hssportslive.net. Next week, again, we will be in Champaign for Champaign Central versus Urbana. Week three, we will have Clinton at Tuscola, and week four will be Maroa Forsyth at Unity, and that has the makings of a great ball game. Both teams could get there at 3-0. They are both ranked number one in their class. Handoff here for Villa Grove up the middle and a wonderful run. He could go all the way. He's going to be taken down, though, on a nice tackle by Severado. A great run by Kenny Guerrero, a 5'7", 142-pound sophomore for Villa Grove. Kenny Guerrero with a nice run. The Davion Severado chasing him down, and if he didn't, Guerrero would have gone all the way to the house. Minute and a half now left to go in the ball game, 46 to 29. Villa Grove in control, first and 10 now as the ball is all the way down at the 30-yard line after the run by Guerrero. Coming off now for Villa Grove is Anthony McConaughey, and at quarterback is Guntner again. He fakes the handoff and now pitches it to the outside, and that's Nathan Bradley, and the makes a wonderful move. And the ball comes flying out. A great block, but Bradley cannot hang on to the ball. A lot of balls, a lot of footballs on the ground here tonight in Villa Grove. Something that happens a lot in Week One, though, in high school football. First game of the year, maybe some jitters, just maybe some getting used to playing football, but we've had a lot of fumbles here tonight, and that does seem to happen a lot in week one of the football season is turnovers because these teams are just still trying to get things together and play as a team and learn to be a cohesive unit. So after the turnover, 46-29 to 29 our score, under a minute now. Westville will take over first and 10 on the 17-yard line. Exactly 56.7 seconds left on the clock here. And again, you're listening or watching hssportslive.net, and I appreciate you tuning in to us tonight. This game will be on demand, available on demand early in the week. Once we get it posted, we will let you know, and you can watch this game on demand at any time. Another fumbled snap. We'll see who came up with that one. As no one can seem to hang on to the ball tonight, and Villa Grove gets it right back. Recovered by Villa Grove, 46 seconds now on the clock, 46 to 29, our score, Villa Grove in command. A big case of fumbleitis out there on the field today here at Villa Grove. Both sides having trouble here late in the game, holding on to the football. Again, here on hssportslive.net, besides our games of the week, we also have a team and an athlete of the week. And we'd love for you to be a sponsor for the team, a game, or an athlete of the week. So please contact us at hssportslive at yahoo.com and let us know if you'd like to be a sponsor. Villa Grove now lining up first and 10 at the 17. And at quarterback again is Gavin Gunter. 
The clock now running under 30 seconds. 46 to 29 our score. As the clock's winding down, I think that might be it. And we might have one play here left for Villa Grove. Guntner is just gonna down it. And that's gonna be it here from Villa Grove. Villa Grove has defeated Westville 46 to 29. Villa Grove Heritage Blue Devils, a new co-op. Senior night here in Villa Grove, their first game of the season, an impressive performance after the first quarter. Chad Musselman's Blue Devils really turned things on defensively. 46 to 29 is our score as the clock hits zero. Westville, a tough defeat to start the season, and we'll have to see how things go with Kyle Brazis. Hopefully he'll be able to come back and continue on this season for the Westville Tigers. Again, thank you very much for joining us on hssportslive.net. I'm Chris Foster. Our final score tonight here from Villa Grove is Villa Grove Heritage 46, the Westville Tigers 29. Again, we will do a game every week of the season. If you would like to be a sponsor for a game of the week, an athlete of the week, or a team of the week, please contact us.